So I am 37.186532 years of age. And apparently this makes me an old ass motherfucker. So people telling me that I'm an old woman now. And I felt like since I'm an old woman, maybe I need to come enlighten y'all about life because I'm old and I get the right now because old people just preach and things. So if you want to know all of my findings as an old woman, make sure you watch this video. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's old ass motherfucker Babsy Bo here, you understand? And I'm coming to tell you all today about what it's like to be an old ass woman. Now I don't know if I'm considered old in the social media world, the real real world, the fake real world, but my ass is apparently over the hill, washed up, nothing's going for me anymore, and I'm pop down. But before I get into this video, make sure you are following me on all my social media outlets. My name is Strictly Babsy. I am Strictly Babsy on Snapchat. Someone send me a snap. I haven't been snapped to all day. I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. Send me a rassle snap, man. Um, and on Facebook, my name is Babsy at large. So if you don't know what's going on with me, make sure you download my app in the Google Play Store or the iTunes Store. My name there is Babsy Beyond Blogging. And that's when you'll get a text for everything that I do under the sun, moon, and stars except for fooping. You understand what I'm saying? Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe to this particular channel. This is my rant channel. I am ranting about being an old rascal woman today. So make sure you're subscribed because you go like me now people in the real real world fake real world social media re social media world I am an old ass woman this is what the people tell me so I said let me come and enlighten y'all because old people will be preaching and saying right it is preaching and things so let me give you some lessons on how you could be a non old ass woman as fast as I got old okay now one of the things I found out as an old woman that I wish I knew as a young woman was that um, good whole I do it right now how Somebody told me this cunt before I decided to go to school, get three university degrees, get a career job. My life would have been a lot easier because apparently you don't need nothing in life except for good haul. You don't need assets. You don't need a brain. You just need good haul. So maybe in the near future, we're going to see when you go and apply for a mortgage, go and apply for a loan, something you're going to see good job, good credit, but it's going to be trumped now by good haul. So ladies, I don't know where this good hole is. I don't know how you rank how good and bad a hole is, but you need to get yourself some good hole and your life will be fulfilled. So somebody leave a comment below and let us know how to find this good hole because apparently this is going to save our lives. Speaking about good hole, I have one that's going to save everything for you. Time, money, stress, strain, all kinds of things. People, forget about being a doctor. Forget about being a lawyer. Forget about working in a bank, being a CEO. What you want to do is make sure that you can tech a gal man. Let me tell you something. If you can tech a gal man, you have arrived. You are it. You are set it. Uh, you said so. Like, if you can take a gal man, you trump everything else that's going on out here. Because apparently that's what everybody's aspiring to do in life. I don't know when this started. I wish somebody had given me the memo that that's what we got to do out here. I wouldn't be worrying about having a career blogging. I would just be out here trying to take a gal man. Because I don't know if you heard, but someone took my man. And I'll tell you this, it hurt me real bad. I was like devastated. And the girl that was taking the man was so excited about it. She was on her Instagram and social media every day talking about this good hole that I was talking about previously and saying, yeah, man, she was doing it up. But it's funny, I haven't heard her lately. I wonder if everything's okay. Maybe I should send her a text. Let me send her a text. Hmm. Sweetheart, comma, because I got good grammar, right? You pussy still holding and controlling the man? Just curious. Send. Hmm. Hopefully the neighbor didn't change the Wi-Fi password on them and she'll reply to me in a reasonable amount of time. Next thing I learned as an old ass.
ass, motherfucker, is that this complexion right here is the worst complexion on the planet to have. We are despised by white people. We are despised by black people. We are the bottom of the barrel if you have any melanin in your damn skin. So I could have started the bleaching process years ago in the amniotic sac with my mama and her belly and all that shit. If I had just been given the forewarning that you don't want to be black because the color of your skin basically dictates your life. So if you are light skin, real, or light skin, fake, you're going to be a lot better in life apparently or something. I don't know. If somebody could come and give me the statistics on how the differentiate between how well a real light skin black does in life and a fake light skin black does in the life and a black black skin person does, that would help me a lot. Because apparently everybody's out here bleaching trying to get to some complexion. I don't know because it's confusing to me because they don't look brown. They look gray. So I'm like, do you know you look gray? And then you're bleaching, you can't go in the sun. But if you're doing this for a real good reason, I would like to know it. Somebody please let me know what the fuck we out here bleaching our skins for because I would like to be in the mix too. It's like when the new feature comes out on Snapchat, I want to have it first. So if we bleaching to try and get something out here, let the rest of us know, please. You want to know what else I learned in my old ass age? Apparently, this one is the kicker. If you are a woman that believes in controlling births, waiting until you're married to have children, there is something wrong with you. People might even call you barren. Now, for me, right? I was saying to myself, let me finish my education, let me get a stable life together, and get a man who's stable, and then bring forth the life. Apparently that makes me barren. So, I mean, I always knew a barren, the soca artist barren. He sings that song, baby, my soul on fire, bring water. I always wanted to bring that man water, to be honest, like, non-pervertedly. But anyways, let's stick to the point here. Apparently, if you control your births and you want to have children later in life when you are stable, there is something wrong with you. So had I known this, I would have breeded at like age five, six, and what I would have had a jump start on all I wanna. One I couldn't even talk about Ross on me. I would have breed at five. I'd have been in kindergarten, breastfeeding child. Who wanna think wanna go outdo me? Anybody that wait till they get older in life to have children when they're stable, them is bear cunts and they're barren. You understand? So if you can get a jump start on breeding, doesn't matter if the man is going to be with you or not, just breed. Because I heard on the dance hall tape one time, from a girl not off no picnic, her pussy ain't no good. So that would go back to the first thing. So you need to have good hole, take a girl man, bleach, and breed. That is the simple things in life. And you will attain greatness if you just follow those four simple steps. If you don't, you might end up like a dumbass motherfucker like me, out here with a job and a career, and getting married, and waiting to have children when they have getting their married, and doing things the wrong right way. Don't listen to me. Listen to what these motherfuckers out here are telling you because of my old ass, I am out of the mix, apparently. So I have nothing to offer you all. I just want you to know, follow the trends them that you see everybody out here doing. Because I'll let you know a secret. Most people will pressure you into the right thing. No one's going to come and tell you to get an RRSP or don't cheat on your husband, wife, or don't do things like that. They're going to pressure you to drink till you get intoxicated. They gon' then they gon' laugh at you. By the way, they gon' pressure you to do all kinds of things, but just go with them because they're your friends. So they would obviously know what is best for you because most of our friends out here want to see the best for us. Take my advice. Don't aim for nothing nice in life. You'll have the most friends. Because the goal is to have friends, right? You don't want to be like me and be a friendless ass motherfucker because you out here trying to do blogging and shit. Lose all your friends because they don't want to see you prosper. And then they talk about you every single day that they um, get together in their little groups and think that we don't hear what they're saying because there's informants everywhere, right? We hear, right? But at the end of the day, they're all happy with one another. So if you want to be in the in crowd and roll with your friends and do all of that, do everything that they advise you to do. And the old people like me trying to give you some advice on how to stay straight, just disrespect us and call us old and barren and black as rascal. <laughs>
Turning sissy, not to play with fire. 